Okay, you should have your clips imported into Premiere Pro. Down here you'll see the movie clips that I have and I'm going to choose one and I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to choose new sequence from clip. And what that does is it takes that existing clip and it puts it over here in your timeline. And you might not want that uh, clip right now. You can always select it and just hit delete. The thing we were doing is we were selecting a sequence. And now that we have a sequence, we can drag the clips over there. But what I want to show you here is instead of just dragging clips over there, because that's the entire clip. So we only want a part of the clip. If you choose any of your movie clips right here and you double click it, it's going to open up in this top left window. That is your editing window that you can uh, set the in and out points of the clip you want. As you can see, this is like a two minute my America's Funniest Video clip here and say that we only want this part right here where the cat's about to jump. So you get your little scrubber right here. This is your scrubber and you can scrub all the way and then we can get right here up. Oh, we can go backwards and forwards and we get right to where the cat, cat is about to jump there and you see this is called your mark end point. Select that. What that does is it puts a mark right there where we're at. Then we can either play or you can scrub over to the point to where the cat jumps to the table, misses and then falls to the ground. And then we hit our out point right here. And what we did is instead of that whole clip, we set an in and an out point. Now we can go down to our main timeline down here at the bottom and we can move wherever we want to insert that clip. Let's go right there. And we're gonna hit this uh, button right here that says insert. And there you go, it puts the clip in our timeline. And if it's too small, you can always drag the timeline bar here to the left to increase the size, to the right to decrease the size. So we'll make it to where we can see the clip. That's about good. So here is my scrubber for my main timeline. And then now that clip is where the cat jumps and misses the table. That's how you set an in and out point to the clip. So one thing to remember, in Premiere Pro, the way CS6 is set up, the bottom left is your main files, then it goes up to where you edit that file, then it goes down to where your timeline, and that's where you make your movie that you're creating. And the, the edited movie that you're working on will play in the top right over here. So that's just a quick little um, tutorial on setting an in and out point on a clip.